on the way to the uh, the, the, the War Graves Commission to uh, a special service to commemorate the Windrush and uh, Mary Seacole. First time for you here like me? Yes, yeah, the first time to this um, cemetery here, yeah, that's right. It's just beautiful. It is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Maybe the world could learn from the veteran community and the serving community I so it would be a better agree. place to live in. I absolutely agree. Beautiful. Absolutely agree. So beautiful. What do you think? It needs to be looking sad. It's birthday king. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> From Trinidad and Tobago, what a privilege. Making history today, honoured, honoured, honoured. Um, yeah, an emotional ceremony, yes, and um, not before time. Um, thank you very much, sir. And I do say that people who worked that hard into the 90s deserve to see their hundred. Thank you. And I Amen. hope you do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, we're back with Sue. Sue, on the way back to England, what do you think about today then? How was that for you? Uh, wasn't it awesome? We've had World War II veterans. We've had young kids. We've had some of the local people who live in Etapa here in northern France. All come together to commemorate African and Caribbean people who gave their life in the Great Wars. And I'm just blown away.